In today's video, I'm attempting to go 82-0 in NBA 2K24. We're here at the beginning of the Kobe era with the Los Angeles Lakers, and I've changed one setting that should really help me in my quest to go undefeated, and that's turning hard cap off. Essentially, hard cap is the maximum amount of money you can spend to bring back your players, but with this off, I'll be able to spend as much money as I want to bring back my free agents. And if you all have watched any of my 82 and 0 challenges or anybody else's, you'll know that the hard cap becomes a major issue. So with this off, I'll be able to bring back all of my talent and I'm confident in my ability to go 82 and 0 if I have that off. So let's get into it. I'm going to start it off by trading away some of these role players in an effort to get more draft picks. Now the 2003 draft is coming up and that's going to be huge for this team. I want to draft not only LeBron James, but also Carmelo Anthony or Dwayne Wade. I might even get three prospects from that draft class. I want to shoot for the stars, aim for the moon with that draft class. Shout out Pop Smoke. But yeah, I, I want to try and get as much talent as possible in the 03 draft because I think that's going to be a great building block for our squad. So what I'm going to do right here is just trade for as many picks as I possibly can get. It looks like nobody wants to give me a pick for Steve Smith, but I bet if I trade him for Theo Ratliff and then trade Theo Ratliff, we'll be able to get some draft capital. It's really all about just cheesing 2K system so that you can get a lot of picks. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that and I'll come back to y'all in a second. It's going to be pretty boring. All right, so I just traded away pretty much anybody with value. Let me show y'all the transaction report so y'all know I'm not out here cheating or anything. I was out here wheeling and dealing. Wait, it's not signings. I want to look at trades here. Yeah, look, man, we went and made a ton of trades. And now if I head over to future draft picks, we have a ridiculous amount of first rounders. Plus, we still have Shaq and Kobe. We might also have some roster rooms. So I'm going to bring in some of these guys like Earl Boinkins and then some of these G League players on two-year contracts because if I do this, I could potentially trade them down the line as well. So these could be other pieces for more draft picks. I'm, I'm thinking about this in a long-term perspective and hopefully we can go out there and go crazy in this 82-0. I'm going to be locked in. I'm going to be sweating this 82-0 rebuild. I thought that having the Lakers as my team was a good move though because we get Shaq and Kobe, two of the most dominant players in the sim. Now, a couple years down the line, I might look to trade Shaquille because he'll start to get older, start to regress and everything, but I think Kobe should be here to stay for the entirety of the video. And I'm going to give myself until 2010 to make this happen. So a decent amount of time, but not a crazy amount of time. I don't want this to just drag on and on, but I think 2010 will be enough years for me to build an absolute dynasty. All right, our season is over with. We won 51 games. I'm not really too worried about that, but that is really good considering how trash our supporting cast was. It was literally just Shaq and Kobe and some 70 overalls. We ended up losing in the first round. That's fine, though. We're really just worried about the draft lottery so that we can get Braun, maybe Melo, maybe Wade. I don't know. We're just going to go out there and hopefully get some good players. Now, right now, we don't have any draft picks that are high, and that's because the majority of the draft picks that I traded for were actually a couple years down the line so what I can do is I can use that draft capital to go out and move up in this draft right so if I take all these picks right and offer them up for number one maybe that'll get the job done but if it doesn't we, we can work something out trust me I'm gonna offer this they say no that makes sense this is the LeBron James draft but I'll throw in one more they still say no so we'll go ahead and double back we'll go over to like the fourth pick I think this should be enough for four actually as a matter of fact I'll do three first that's where I'm gonna start it oh wow they actually took that okay maybe I got fleece there but I don't really think so I don't think that was a crazy overpay or anything now we'll slide over to number one which is held by the Grizzlies and we'll throw in our pick next year they're gonna say no we've also got some of these guys that I signed like Earl Boykins and uh, Mirza we'll throw them in as well and you know what we'll throw in a uh, Rafer and then we'll throw in one more first rounder that's not gonna get the job done so you know what we got another one for y'all you know what? We got another one for y'all. Trust me. We got plenty of first rounders. I can do this all day. Oh my goodness, man. We're offering up the house of first round picks 
and they still aren't going for it at all. Hold on, man. This might be more difficult than I initially thought. So let's slide over to number two. You know what? We might just have to take this slowly but surely. I'll offer up number four. Let's see if they have any counter offers. Oh, is this working? It's not even working right now. All right, you know what? I'll throw in another player. Oh, now the salary cap's not working. Well, what's going on, though? I'm trying to trade it, and it says, oh, okay, there it goes. All right, we'll throw in another first rounder here. They say no. All right, I got another one for y'all. Man, these teams are driving a tough bargain, but we move up to number two. And now that we're at two, we should realistically be able to get one. And then I'm going to go back and get two because I want two as well. Honestly, I might not just want two. I might want three. I might want the top three picks in this year's draft, to be totally honest with you guys. I don't know if that's something that's uh, going to be possible to do, but if it is, you know, I'm definitely going to try my best to make that type of thing happen. They're going to say no to this offer, but you know what? I got another first for y'all. They still say no. Man, they do not want to trade this draft pick. Jeez, dude. Jeez, finally, we made that happen. Now, Detroit has number two, and the Pistons, they've been holding on to their picks for dear life, so... I don't like the fact that I just gave them two. It's probably going to be hard to get. We got like four more first rounders to offer up though for that uh, second overall pick. So let's see if that's enough. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get one, two, and three. I'm going to be lucky just to get one and two here. You know what? We can throw y'all a couple role players. Hopefully that puts it over the edge. It doesn't. Okay. Well, what we can probably do is throw a couple of these guys in the trade finder two first. Yeah, dog. Two, 2K. Y'all got to fix that because it really helps me just cheese these trades. It's absolutely insane. But now we go back over to Detroit. They've still got number two. I will throw y'all just every first round pick under the sun if y'all give me the second second overall pick man but they they were a tough team to work with for that first pick and so far they've been tough to work with for the second overall pick as well if this doesn't work maybe i'll just slide over to number three because it'll probably be easier to trade for dude they're just holding on for dear life to those picks so you know what we'll just take the third pick we'll either end up with lebron and mellow or lebron and wade that's basically how the cookie's gonna crumble here we'll offer three first and you know what we'll throw y'all one more they'll probably work with me come on i'll throw y'all a, a mean little role player too you know what yep boom we get the number three overall pick and now we've got some great great draft capital to work with here we're gonna go ahead and draft lebron james at two the pistons traded it how did how did somebody work with them how did they make this happen for eddie jones and brian grant Oh, so they wanted vets. They didn't even want picks. Oh, I should have just, oh, the Heat get weighed. They got the script. But you know what? I kind of wanted Melo more anyway, so that works out anyway. But oh my gosh, man, we should have just got some vet players. Bro, low-key, I could have tried to trade Shaq to them and maybe got some some uh, players back, some picks or something. I, I don't know, but I'm going to hold on to Shaq for now. I just know the regression for Shaq is kind of ugly, so I'm hoping it, it doesn't hit too, too crazy for him. It looks like we do not have any money to spend this summer, but I did tell you all about my plan. Just offer two-year contracts to players that I can afford, and we'll just kind of move forward from there because if I can get some of these guys on two years and then just trade them a little bit down the line – that's going to be pretty valuable because y'all saw we were trading 70 overalls for first round draft capital. That That's how crazy it really gets in the world of 2K. They, they really have no type of trade logic. So if I just get some of these guys and then trade them, it's going to be huge for the future of this rebuild. I think in 04, is that the Dwight draft? Because we'll probably want Dwight on the team. In past rebuilds, I had to be kind of conservative with who I went after because I had to consider the hard cap and everything. But now I'm going to look to add as much talent as possible. Man, Agent Zero is a free agent. It would be so cool to add uh, Gilbert to the squad. Maybe we could do it. Hold on. If we trade Shaquille, which is crazy to say, but could we even get offers? No, we couldn't. Yeah, that, that's not worth it. But I just realized we have some of these uh, scrub players kind of taking up a lot of money on our books. How, how much do we need to sign a player? how much over the cap oh we're, we're cooked we're cooked over the cap yeah yeah it doesn't even matter what we do we'd have to trade Shaq to make up that money and that just doesn't make sense at this point in time as much as I would love to have Gilbert on my team it just doesn't make sense right now so we're gonna simulate 04 draft we'll try to get number one and we'll keep it pushing man all right, so we're past the trade deadline, doing really well. Obviously, nowhere near 82 and 0, but the progression's gonna hit for Braun. The progression's gonna hit from Wade, and then we've got the 04 draft coming up with Dwight Howard. So 
that's going to be a huge addition for us. Now, what I'm wondering is, should we move on from Shaq at the 04 draft, maybe trade him for some future assets? I'm not sure where we're going to be at with Shaquille at that point. His contract is just huge, so that's something to consider. A guy who I'd actually really like to trade him for is Gilbert Arenas, and y'all might be like, what? But let me tell y'all, Gilbert, he's different in the sim. I really wish we could have signed him last offseason, but unfortunately, the cookie did not crumble that way. Shout out to Bron winning rookie of the year. But with the way the team has been constructed so far, I think we've got a legitimate chance to go 82-0. We just went 16-1 in the NBA playoffs en route to an NBA championship. Guys, let, let me tell y'all, while, while we're getting through this draft and everything, do we land any good picks? No. But uh, let me tell y'all, man. Oh, my goodness. I made this protein shake. And and normally, like, I, 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 like the protein shakes, bro, I'm not going to lie to y'all, they always taste terrible. I, I've just never been a big fan, right? But, oh, my goodness, I made this protein shake recently. My mom got me a blender for Christmas, right? And I put some strawberries in there. I put some protein powder in there and a bit of milk. Oh, my gosh, man. It's just the best thing ever. And, I, I like, I've always hated protein shakes. But now, oh, my goodness, I've been looking forward to it. I want to make, like, 800 protein shakes every single day just because of how much I love these things. They're so good, man. But, yeah, shout out to my mom. W Christmas gift. You know what I mean? W Christmas gift. Now that it's past Christmas, though, and I got all my gifts, the one thing, I don't know if it's like this for y'all, but if y'all get, like, gifts for Christmas and stuff, and then they're, like, all over your room, or you do shopping after Christmas, oh my gosh, man, my room's low-key a mess. So I definitely got to do some, uh, what do you call it, like, some winter cleaning. I know they normally call it spring cleaning, but yeah, I need to do some winter cleaning. Look who it is, Darvin Ham, but yeah, uh, I definitely need to do some cleaning up before, uh, you know, it's time to go back to school, man. Oh my goodness, I'm not looking forward to that. I'm not going to lie to y'all. The break has been an incredible reset. It's been really cool to kind of see what it would be like to do, uh, you know, content just like as a full-time thing because that's basically what I've been doing, you know. I've been, uh, you know, celebrating Christmas, celebrating the holidays and everything and then just hanging out with friends and making videos. That's really been it. That's really been my schedule over this break and it's been so much fun, man. Things have gone incredibly well and we're going to keep pushing man 100k 2024 on the main channel is the goal and on this channel we're going for the big 20k that's where i'm at on the main channel right now about to hit 21k but for the main channel to hit 100k i'm gonna have to average like 7,000 subs a month so it's gonna be a tough challenge for me but i'm hoping we can do it at least 50k you know what i mean 50k would be nice too but 100 is what i'm really shooting for but anyway, we're looking to get this number one pick via Cleveland. I'm going to see if we can make this happen. They're going to say no so far, but if I throw them another pick and then another pick, are they going to say yes? Yes, they do. So we use six first rounders. We go out and get number one overall. We're going to use that to draft a white. He's the only player I'm really interested in in this draft. Nobody else too, too crazy. So we're going to keep it pushing past the draft. We got Zach Beasley. We're good, bro. You can go. Qualifying offers. We're good. You can go as well. And now it's time for moratorium. We do not have money in free agency right now. But if I moved off of Shaq's deal, we would have enough to sign a big player. So we get an offer for Elton Brand and Carlos Boozer. That's not really what I'm looking for. But I know the regression is going to hit for Shaq at 32. He's set to become a free agent next offseason. So I want to look around the league and see who's available. Gilbert's a guy who I've really got my eye on. But right now, they're in a salary situation where they'd have to include 20 more million. Oh my gosh. Well, that's probably not going to happen now, is it? Yeah, that, that's not going to happen. Gilbert was a guy I really wanted. But overall, I guess it's not realistic to clear up cap space anyway look how interested kg is though in just like just like a trash contract so you know what maybe this is something we should do all right y'all gotta hear me out real quick we trade Shaq, right for elton brandon booze right this is gonna sound crazy and y'all some people might have just clicked off the video but if y'all are still rocking with me just trust me you're not gonna regret it we go get tyson chandler and a first round pick we trade Chandler for even more future assets. What I'm hoping is by the time I'm done with this uh, cycle of trades, right, we end up with around 10 first round picks, essentially meaning that we traded Shaq for like 10 firsts, right? Then we use all of those assets to move up in the draft, in future drafts. We've got the KD draft coming up. We've got the Chris Paul draft coming up. Those are going to be important drafts for us, and we want to add those type of guys. So we'll use those draft assets to add those players, right? 
and then from there we're gonna go ahead and uh oh dude who is this guy why is he taking up so much money oh no he's gonna be impossible to get rid of jennings uh, okay we're gonna be good but yeah if we use all those draft picks right i think it's gonna work out and also if we can have enough cap space to add kevin garnett like come on man did y'all see how interested he was in that terrible contract i was about to throw him like if we give him a real offer, he's probably coming through to the team. All right, let's throw booze in the trade finder. I want uh, ideally draft capital. I saw one first round pick in one of these trades. I don't want to swap picks though. We'll take Keith Van Horn in the first. Boom. And then we trade Van Horn and get even more picks. All right. We, we should be in business here once we move off of all this money. We should be good to go. And we might actually have a chance to go out and add Kevin Garnett. And if we do that, we essentially traded 97 overall Shaq, got a bunch of picks, and then added another player who's the same overall but younger. So y'all see the vision now? I feel like the thing about trying to go 82 and 0 is you got to really think outside the box. You got to get outlandish with the moves because nothing is realistic about going 82 and 0 in the NBA. You know, nothing, nothing's realistic about going undefeated in, in a season in the association. So you just got to think in weird ways and try to do a bunch of crazy moves to help out your team. I mean, we got 99 overall Kobe. We've got young Bron, young Melo. We've got an incredible team. So we, we want to make this as good as possible and stack all our all the cards in our favor i guess is the figure of speech i'm looking for here and now we've cleared up pretty much as much money as i can I, once i trade darvin ham i misclick there but yeah once i trade darvin ham do y'all think the lakers might just fire darvin ham with how they've been struggling recently it'll be interesting to see but anyway we got the money to sign kg we'll offer him the full max okay that's a lot of money do we throw the no trade clause i think kg should be here to stay so we'll throw that and boom we get kevin garnett so that that was smart by me wasn't it because now we get garnett we just got all those draft picks that that was really smart good job danny way to go i'm gonna pat myself on the back for that one all right and then we're gonna go sign gary Trent. we're just gonna go sign a bunch of guys on minimum contract uh he's gonna decline george brooks all right whatever bro you, you can decline we'll just go sign somebody else in a second but yeah, we're going to add so many players. We also got a lot of trade exceptions, which can be useful in the future as we try to make more moves to bolster our roster. Those can actually be pretty helpful. So we could use those a little down the line. But for now, I'm really happy with what we've built here in Los Angeles. Now with Kevin Garnett coming here, do we play like Melo as a two? Did, can he do that? Can Bron be a two? You know what? We'll tell Melo slide over to the two. We'll have a bit of a big ball. Can uh can Kobe? I mean, I guess, you know what? Actually, Melo, you can just play on the bench, man. You can just come off the bench. You'll be all right. Yeah, this is how we're going to run it. We don't really have a point guard, but quite frankly, I don't really care right now. Chris Paul will be our point guard in the future, but this isn't going to be an 82-0 attempt season. This is just going to be another season, basically. Now I'm feeling great about my move to go ahead and get rid of Shaq so we could sign KG, bro. I was already feeling great about it, but now I'm feeling even better. KG wins the MVP award. Melo ends up winning six man of the year. So seems like he's going to be the perfect six man. We won 71 games this season. So I think we should be going back to back in terms of NBA championships. And yeah, we're going to, you know, that's cool. But really, job's not finished. We're looking for that ultimate goal of going 82 and 0 is this the paul draft yeah it is so we got to go get chris paul he's going to be an important piece for us we need a point guard for the squad and i would love for chris paul to be that guy maybe we even go after darren williams just because we have a lot of picks and uh we could also use a backup pg but we'll see where things go i'm just going to offer up a bunch of picks that we have in this year's draft and then some future ones and hopefully that'll be enough to get us number one actually i'm not going to offer all of these to start because this is low-key a crazy offer i'll give you all three of these let's see what they say they're not going to work with it but you know what i got some random players who y'all can have as well uh they're still gonna say no i'll throw y'all one more first and boom we get number one where do they think darren williams is gonna go because i know d will can be a solid little point guard for us they think he's gonna go five you know what i could get five probably pretty easy so i'll, I'll try that we'll do a blazers pick actually i don't want to trade all these unprotected though because you never know those could actually end up being good i'll trade some of our future picks like our 2008 2009 do we have our 07 one no we don't i'll trade this protected pick from the suns and if we could get like five for that 
I'd be down to go ahead and do it. But otherwise, may, maybe I'll include some seconds or something, but I'm not going to work too much harder to get the fifth overall pick. I'll throw in Gary Trent. I'll throw you uh, a couple second rounders or something, and we can call it a deal, right? We can call it a deal, right? Boom, and we're going to go ahead and get pick five. We're going to draft Chris Paul at number one overall, and then we'll simulate to the fifth pick. Hopefully, Darren Williams will be available, and he is, so we're going to draft him as well. Now we've got a nice little young point guard core there in Los Angeles, so that's nice to see. We've also got team options. We're going to bring those guys back. Qualifying offers, nothing important there. And then we've got free agency. Checking out free agency. We've got about $2 million to spend this year. We could spend it on, uh, sure, Bobby Simmons. We'll go offer him a deal. Oh, never mind. We're not going to get Bobby Simmons. We could offer, uh, yeah, sure, we'll offer Roger Mason a three-year. Okay, okay, they're trolling me. They're trolling me. You know what? We'll just sign some guys to minimum, stick to the bread and butter. That's been working out for us very well throughout this video. Signing these guys to minimum deals and then trading them, that has been incredible. Why Why they keep matching offers, man? What, what's going on? But, yeah, signing these guys to minimum. Okay, I can't get anybody right now. We just won a championship. Don't y'all want to be a part of greatness? Come on now. But, yeah, I'm just going to sign some guys. We'll trade them down the line. We'll get even more draft picks it's going to be absolutely incredible lakers legend smush parker is here man are y'all ready are, are y'all ready but uh yeah that that should be good for free agency squad is looking nice man everything's coming together we're gonna to keep it pushing going 82 and 0 man it is so difficult i mean as y'all can see even with a squad that looks like an all-star team we are still not close to that 82 and 0 threshold. We've got 490 pluses though. I don't know if Dwight will hit it. I know Chris Paul will hit 90 overall though, so that'll make it five. And then in the upcoming draft, I believe it's 06. There's nobody I'm really that interested in. We'll probably skip past this one. Maybe we draft like a Brandon Roy or something just for the additional depth. But then in 07, we're going to be going after Durant and maybe even Greg Oden because Oden's kind of nice in the sim, but I'm probably just KD to be honest with y'all. And yeah, that's the plan. I think 09 will also be a big draft maybe we got to keep doing this past 2010 because i don't know if we're going to be able to go 82 no by 2010 but i think if i just kept going and kept going we we would be able to do it eventually yeah, man, Kevin Garnett has proven to be an incredible addition. Shout out to CP3. Comes in and almost averages double-digit assists in his first season. Ended off the season winning 27 in a row. So it seems like we're really starting to hit a rhythm. We had a really good record this year. We actually almost lost in the conference finals to Phoenix. But yeah, we had a really good record this year with 75 wins. So we're getting closer and closer. And we're going to have an opportunity to add more pieces later down the line. As for this draft, like I told y'all, I'm not really too interested in any of these players so i'll probably just end up trading out the draft i'm gonna see who's available here you got like jj reddick tyrus thomas here i'm kind of good on that so what i'm thinking is we could probably package together like smush parker scal in the ninth pick and maybe get somebody okay i'm not asking for anybody crazy like james posey would be a decent little piece oh we could get rondo sure sure we'll get rondo oh man uh, do y'all remember the video where it's like chris paul and it's uh, it's it's Rondo. But anyway, oh, we could also get Rudy Gay, but I'd probably rather have Rondo. Let's get Rondo on the team. Awesome. So we trade Rondo for that, and then we'll probably just give up our 20th pick for another future pick. I'm not really too worried about that. And we'll keep it pushing, man. Awesome. Awesome, man. We get Rondo on the squad. 76 overall. Nice addition to the team. We'll pick up all these team option qualifying offers. We do not have any free agency. Do we have any money? No, we do not. We got about two mil to spend, though, so we could throw that to somebody. We'll throw it to uh, old Eddie Robinson. Boom. We get him on the team. We'll also swing an offer to some of these uh, other guys who we can sign on minimum contracts or cheaper deals. So, yeah, that's what we're going to go with. That's the blueprint. That's kind of what we've been sticking to over these past couple seasons. I'm really excited for these next couple years because the fact that we won 75 this year is really encouraging to me. I mean, I feel like there's going to be a chance that we uh, – you know, may, maybe crack 82 wins at some point in this video. Because really, this is not even the best team I put together in 2K. I think I can do a lot better, especially with hard cap off, man. It's just going to allow me to stack up on as much talent as really I want. But I was saying earlier in the video, I want to go to 2010. I'm thinking now we're probably going to go further than that because we, we need more time for some of these guys to progress. I also want to get guys like KD, Steph, you know, on the team. I want to get those players around on the squad. So I got to wait on that. 
but we also do have some players who have signed over the past few years that are about to expire next season like Scott Padgett we can trade him for a first rounder I want to make sure to get rid of those guys so that we can get some additional draft capital for the team just a bunch of pieces that I've signed over the years I want to trade them all because I want to make sure we have as many picks as possible when 07 comes around so that we can draft Durant that's actually next year isn't it yeah, the time to draft KD is actually coming around really fast. We're already in 06, so next year we're going to be looking at drafting Kevin Durant onto our squad, which is going to be a huge opportunity for the team. Now, we do already have Melo, and we already have Bron, so the wing is going to be a little crowded, but we'll figure something out. You know, just adding that talent is going to be huge for the squad, in my opinion. Regardless of if he's the best fit or not, he's Kevin Durant. He should be able to fit anywhere and impact winning anywhere he goes, you know, because he's Kevin Durant. But yeah, we, we've just added a ton of draft picks here, which is going to help a lot when the Durant draft comes around. And man, we're, we're putting together a squad. I definitely want to have Steph on this team too. We're literally just building like one of those dream uh, fantasy type teams that you put together whenever you're a kid. Like whenever y'all were younger, did y'all ever just put together super teams on 2K, like cheat the game or whatever, so that you could uh, put together a nice squad? Because I, I definitely used to, I feel like I would just put together super teams and stuff. But anyway, yeah, that's what we're looking to do. I'm not going to make any more trades. I think we're good to go. Also, another thing I used to do when I was younger, did y'all ever play like any racing games or anything? And then I would just be trashing them. So I'd start driving backwards and crashing into everybody. I, I was an absolute menace back in the day, man. <laughs> Okay, we're probably going to lose soon just because I started the recording and that's how things usually go. But we're 31-0 right now, so I want to sit with y'all until we get our next loss because I'm kind of excited right now. Oh, come on, 33? I think the best I made it is like somewhere in the 40s without losing. If we can make it there, I'm very hopeful that we get to 82-0 at some point in time. We're 39-0 right now. Oh my goodness, dude. What is going on? 40? 41. We're halfway through the season. We have haven't lost yet and last season we ended off the year on the 27 game win streak 43 and 0 44 45 is the trade deadline I don't think we need to change anything oh I accidentally pressed uh, stop but I think we might have contract extensions yeah Kobe wants a new deal we should give him that yeah for sure but then everybody else uh, we don't really have anything to worry about KG's about to become a free agent I I'm not doing anything though I, I just want to keep going 46 oh my gosh 47 no way we do this no way we do this bro no way we do this 49? Oh my gosh, I don't even think we would have been over the hard cap either. So my setting change didn't even make a difference. 53? No way. No way. No, 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 dude. 55. This is the furthest I've ever made it. 56 and 0. <sighs> so that that's awkward. No way we made it that far. Right as I said, this is the furthest I've ever made it. Yeah, shut up, Danny. We're about to take an L. Oh my gosh, man. No way we go 81 and 1, too. That, that'd be one of the most painful things ever. I might actually shed a tear. Oh, no way we... Okay, then we lose another one. But, but man, we're, we're really going to do it today. We're really going to do it today. I believe we're going to do it today. Th this is going to be crazy if I do it, man. Y'all are going to see me absolutely lose it if we actually go 82 and 0. I'm going to flip out, man. But anyway, we're at the end of the season. We went 80 and 2. I think that ties the best I've ever done. I've gone 80 and 2 before in the world of 2K. But now that we got a hard cap off, we got to do better than that. We got to pull off the undefeated season. 56 and 0 is ridiculous and I think we can make it even further like I said really push the boundaries now we're here at the NBA draft it's KD K Dizzle coming into the league we're definitely about to draft him onto the team like I've been telling y'all I was talking about it last year we were preparing we were making sure we were ready for Durant's arrival into the NBA so we've got all these draft picks I'll offer them all up for Kevin Durant man that, that's KD all right let's see who has number one this season I just saw it it's gonna be the Hornets come on Come on. We'll talk to the New Orleans Hornets. We'll get their pick, and we'll go ahead and get up and out of here. I'll throw y'all another first. We'll just give y'all all the picks. It's really that simple, and boom. We got Kevin Durant on our basketball team. Oh, this is incredible. We also have the 24th pick. and don't really want that, so we'll trade that for a future first. Awesome. Welcome to the squad, 
KD coming in at an 81 overall. Now, like I was telling y'all, we are going to have to change something around since we have Durant on the squad. I'm thinking maybe it's moving Braun to the two guard, have Kobe play the one, but that's kind of weird. I don't know if I should play him out of position. Braun at the four doesn't work. Melo at the four doesn't work. KG at the five works. Maybe Melo takes one for the team, plays the four, KG plays the five. I'm thinking that's where we're going to go with it, but I do actually have to worry about bringing back Garnett this offseason. We've also got to bring back Melo and Braun, but that shouldn't be an issue because, uh, you know, hard cap is off and they're also restricted free agents so we'll be able to bring those guys back but yeah let's go ahead and offer Braun the max as well it's nice to be able to just offer the players as much money as you can without worrying about the hard cap that's awesome to just be able to bring everybody back so now we've got everybody back on our team Kevin Garnett did end up coming back did I give him a no trade clause I really hope I didn't did I give him a no trade I feel like I did dude I think I did no trade clause oh I did and he's gonna be like 52 by the time I uh uh, by the time his contract expires so maybe that was an oversight by me but you know what hopefully it'll be all right I might trade him a couple years down the line if he's willing to waive that no trade clause but for now yeah I think Melo's gonna have to take one for the team play the power forward Durant will be the backup small forward Dwight okay yeah this is looking good we'll have uh Darren Williams play the backup too for now he's not great but we'll get better later down the line oh wait I do not want to skip all the free agency I actually want to sign some players throw a little two-year deals to some players on minimums, and yeah, hopefully we'll be able to get a couple guys to sign here. Come on, take that. Yep, there you go, and we'll throw one more deal. All right, hopefully we get all those guys. Ah, we missed out on one, but we get a couple new pieces that we can trade a little bit down the line, which is always good. All right, since we were so close last year, y'all are watching this season with me. We win the first two games by pretty good margins. All right, off to a great start. Oh my gosh, man. They're not going to do this to me again, are they? What if we make it like 60 games this time and somehow lose? I'd be surprised if we even made it 20, though, with the way 2K is. I, it's just so hard to loop. Like, like, think about it. Even if you put together an incredible dream team type of team, these teams are professional basketball teams. So at the end of the day, one team can just have an incredible night and your team can have an off night and boom, that's the win that another team gets even if you're thinking about his squad in real life like let's say you put together a fantasy squad in real life right you have Michael Jordan Magic LeBron Shaq you know maybe Tim Duncan or something in there right you have all those great players what if they all just have off nights and then the other team's playing the greatest game of their lives then that means your team could lose right that that's just the way I think about it but right now we're not losing we are 33 and 0 right now 34 this is my best attempt ever at 82 and 0 like considering the amount of success we've had so early in the video this is incredible man i gotta pause the recording i need a sip of water i'm gonna stop the sim for a second man that water tasted outstanding oh my goodness we're 41 and 0 halfway through the season we made it here before though if we can make it past 56, I I'm going to be absolutely flabbergasted. All right, we're about to make it past the deadline, and we're still undefeated. Now, I do also want to stop to see if we have any contract extensions we can do in the season here. Doesn't look like it. All right. All right, we're still going. 44. Dude, dude, I I'm actually about to lose it. 46 and 0. Hey, let me know. If any of y'all are Knicks fans or Raptors fans, let me know in the comment section. How are y'all feeling about your recent trades? I'm I talked about them a little bit recently, but anyway, we're 51 and 0, 52 and 0. Are we about to make it past 56? No way we make it past 56. Oh, okay. Okay, this is where we lost last year and we're past it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we're going to make it to 60, bro. We're going to make it to 60. We, we might just do it. We might actually do it. I, I get so cocky, man. I actually believed we were going to go 82-0 this season, man. I really did wholeheartedly. I believed we were going to go 82-0. I saw, I saw it go past 60 wins. I thought we were in the clear. I thought it was sweet, and we were about to win the NBA championship, man. Or not win the championship, but win 80, the 82-0 challenge. Are we really about to go 81-1? Are we really about to go 81-1, 2K? Are we really about to go 81-1, 2K? Are, are we really doing this today? Are we really doing this? All right, we just got to get one game better, right? Last season, we were 80-2. and two. This season, we're 81-1. and one. And then next season, we're going to be 82-0, and 0, right? It's simple math. That's really how it works. All right, we went ahead and won a championship. We almost lost in the playoffs. That's wild. Anyway, we got the draft lottery coming up. Who's in the draft this year? Because I know it's not... Uh, 
Yeah, oh, it's Russ and D. Rose. Dude, I traded picks to... Oh, we got the fourth and fifth. Hold on. But the Hornets got all the top three picks. That's insane because I traded them some picks last year. I guess they ended up being good. Congrats to them. I don't really care, though. But actually, that might hurt because we're stacking them up with players. I, I didn't think about it that way. But also, I do want a better backup point guard because Rondo, he's only an 81 after a couple years. Oh, both these guys expired on their team options, though. That sucks. All right. Well, you know what? We might just trade for D. Rose just to say, say we did. You know, basically, we'll, we'll trade for D Rose, maybe Kevin Love as well. We can get a guard and a little four. I think that would be nice. We'll go up over to uh, the Hornets, talk to them about number one. I will throw y'all uh, Rodney Randall. He's a franchise changing piece, really. So y'all should definitely take him. I'll also throw y'all the great Quentin Beasley and I'll throw in a uh, first rounder here via Philadelphia. I'll also throw in one of our first rounders. Boom, we get it done. We're picking at one. We're going to take Derrick Rose for our team. And then I'm going to simulate to our pick. I was hoping Kevin Love would still be available. He was the guy I was really looking for, but he's not. So I'm going to try to trade this and see if K-Love does pop up for us. Doesn't look like it. What if I throw in another first rounder? Maybe K-Love will pop up for me. All right, three first rounders. Will Kevin Love pop up for me? Come on, man. That, that's all I really wanted was to add Kevin Love. But I guess we could stick with like a, oh, sir. Reggie Bach is supposed to be a second round pick. Who's available? OJ, OJ Mayo's really the guy? Is OJ Mayo the guy? I, I might just trade away our pick if OJ Mayo's the guy. We'll get two first rounders and we'll just keep D Rose around on the squad. We might trade some of our other young guys to go out and get like maybe Rondo and D Will. We might trade them to get a better young power forward or some backup front court presence, something like that, because we have too many guards at this point in time. We do need to bring back Dwight Howard, which is not a problem because hard cap is off. That, that, that is such an incredible thing, man. Man. And then I'm probably just going to go ahead and sign a few more pieces. We'll sign uh, Terrell Francis to a deal, and then we'll just go with minimums. And that's how we'll do it. That's how we're going to run it, man. I think this will work out really well. I'm really excited for the upcoming year. If we went 81-1 and one last season and I make a couple more moves around the edges, that might just be the final push we need to go 82-0. and 0. That, That's what I'm thinking, at least. I'm hoping that comes true for me. But here's what we're working with right now. I'm going to go position by position, really break down the lineup just to make sure we have everything we need. At the point guard, I mean, Rondo is nice at an 84. Do we trade Derek Rose for a young power forward to back up? Uh, yeah, because Melo's our only power forward on the team. Maybe that's one of the weak spots for the squad. We're good at small forward with Bron and KD. We're kind of good at the two with Darren Williams and Kobe, but I would like a bit of a better backup two guard, but mainly we need a better small forward. So what if we do, you know what? I'd rather trade Rondo than D Rose. Just thinking long-term, I know D Rose is going to be better. So what if we do Rondo and two first? Does that get me like an elite small forward? It gets me a, uh, or wait, we need a power forward. Oh, LaMarcus Aldridge would actually be perfect. Oh yeah. Let's go get LaMarcus. Yeah. Welcome to the squad, LaMarcus Aldridge. We get a first-round pick back as well. That's cool. We'll take that. That Minnesota pick was crazy, though. So maybe Minnesota's going to end up being terrible. It is what it is, though. All right. So now we've got our backup power forward. What was the other position I needed? I was saying I might need a better backup, too. Darren Williams just hasn't progressed the way I would have hoped, at least so far. So if we take him and uh, Francis along with a first-rounder, I think this Hornets first-rounder was pretty nice. Okay, no, it wasn't. But we, do, we could get a better shooting guard. Come on, come on somebody's got to throw me some decent here i'm not getting any great offers uh stag he's a nice little shooting guard so i guess we'll take stag and then maybe we flip stack with two first and we could probably get somebody like pretty pretty decent i would say we got desmond mason in a first you know what we'll take that desmond mason i know he's a small forward but if we take him in a first we should be able to get somebody just a little bit better i'm not seeing it all right we'll do two first because i'm willing to do anything to make this team better at this point picks aren't really an issue for us right now i mean jamal young and joakim what if we take both of them and then i mean jamal young he could end up being our backup guy but what if we take both of them in a the first rounder can we get somebody crazy okay not really looking like it you know what jamal young's gonna be our guy and we'll keep joakim as just an additional young piece now we've got the best team we've had yet let's go 82 and 0 let's get him in
And if we don't do it this year, we'll be able to draft Steph, which should be huge for the squad. But, but for now, here's what the team's looking like. It looks really good. We're going to run a 10-man, so we have some real backup point guard minutes with Derrick Rose. Oh, D-Rose and Joe Keem reunited. That's fire. All right, let's get into it, though, man. Game number one of the season is a dub. Okay, we're dominating early on, but I'm not going to be tricked by that. I know how it gets, man. I know that we can get 70, we could get 81 games in the season, and I could really just get my heart broken by NBA 2K, you know? So I, I'm not even going to be too worried about this. If we get 50 games in the season and we're undefeated, I'll come back to y'all. Oh, well, we lost right after I paused the recording. That's awkward. Let's go get Steph, and we'll run it back. Man, this season we've low-key taken a step back. Shout out James Harden. But we're 41-3 and three on the year, which is good. Don't get me wrong. But I think we could be better. And KG's the guy I want to move. We got we gave him that no trade, bro. I don't know why we gave him the no trade, man. I don't know why we did that. But I want to move him for somebody. I'm not sure who, but I know the regression's going to hit soon. And that's not going to be good. So I want to trade him before it really gets ugly. I, I might want to see what teams are selling or rebuilding. AI's untouchable on the Grizz. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just look around, see what type of options I have. Vince Carter on the rebuilding Blazers. I mean, it'd be nice if we could get like a front court player. That would probably be the most ideal thing. I don't know if that's an option. Dirk isn't available, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, there's not too many crazy players who are not untouchable. Let me let me do a second look though and make sure. Yeah, there just wasn't really anybody that I'm willing to part ways with KG for, so maybe he's just going to ride it out for the rest of his contract. We'll see. Bron Bron wins MVP this season. Congrats to LeBron James. We fell off, man. Only 78-4, only a 36-game losing streak. Pathetic. I, or winning streak. Pathetic. I got to see better from our squad in the future. But you know what? I, I'm kind of joking. I, I'm kind of not, though. I would love to see us win more. But right now, Steph Curry's about to come into the league. I'd love to have Steph on the team, of course. So we're probably about to go get him. I, dude, I kind of want to get rid of KG sometime soon because, like I told y'all, I know the regression's going to hit, but maybe we just ride it out on this contract, re-sign him, and then trade him because, I mean, even if the regression hits hard, he'll still be like a 90 by, by like a couple years, I'd assume. So may, maybe we just hold on to him for the time being. All right, but let, let's see what we got to do here. We could look at Derrick Rose offers. Okay, no, we can't because if we're going to go get Steph, do we really need Rose on the team as well? I'm thinking we don't especially with Chris Paul around. You know what? We'll trade uh, Derrick Rose for number one straight up. I'd actually do that because Steph's going to come in and basically be the same overall. Oh, he'd go to Chicago too. That'd be kind of fire. But actually, you know what? We'll, we'll keep Derrick Rose here too. We, we can use all the talent we can get. Let, let's just keep Derrick Rose around and I'll just finesse Chicago for this number one pick real quick. I'll give you all four first rounders and I'll also throw in, uh, you know, Joakim Noah. Oh, he's about to become a free agent. That sucks. We don't really have the pieces to do this without trading Derrick Rose, do we? Yeah, I'm sorry, Rose. It's going to have to happen, man, because I, I can't make this happen without him. So unfortunately, we're going to have to trade him. Goodbye, Derrick Rose. They don't like this trade, but if I include another pick, yeah, they're going to take it. And we'll go ahead and draft Steph Curry onto the team. Kind of hurts to let go of Rose, but Curry comes in at an 82, so we'll be all right. Here's what the team player options are looking like. We'll, of course, end up picking up all of those. Qualifying offers, we'll extend both of those as well. Oh, yeah, Jamal Young was the dude we brought in to be our small forward or shooting guard last season. We needed that, and he, I guess, was okay. We ended up losing more games, though, so maybe he wasn't okay, man. Maybe he was the reason we sold. But anyway, I'm going to bring in some more guys on minimum contracts, a couple little two-year contracts, and then we'll trade them down the line like I've been doing. All right, that should do it for free agency. We'll get to another season. I mean, the team continues to get better and better. We're looking really good right now with KD up to an 89, Lamarcus up to an 88, Joakim's up to an 82. This team is absolutely incredible. Probably one of the best teams I've ever built, if not the best team I've built. And soon it'll become even crazier as we get deeper into it. Oh, I got to wave some players. Bro, my voice has been cracking so bad. I don't really know why. We have a lot of players on the team right now. Let me just trade some of them for some more picks. I'll trade for Brandon Rush in a first. And then I'll also just throw a couple more of these guys in the trade finder. Run me another pick. Boom. And now we should be good to go for the season. We'll get to it. Like I told y'all, if we make it to like 50-0, and 0, I'll actually start the recording but i don't want to waste y'all's time with us just you know starting off the season really strong and then getting cooked oh my gosh we lost game five of the season all right so we're 41 and three right now we just lost a game come on now 2k but 
What I'm thinking is we look to move KG. I'm hoping we actually get some real offers now. I mean, Michael Redd and Chris Kamen, that's not bad. But am I coping? That is kind of bad. For a 97, that, that is pretty bad. Ron Artest and Hubert Hampton, that's an 87 and an 88. What was the other one? It was, yeah, an 88 and an 86. You know what? We'll take the one for Artest and Hubert, and then we're probably going to flip Artest for a big man here. I think that should work. I just need somebody decent who can run the five for me. Somebody hopefully a little younger than uh, Garnett was because, yeah, that's the whole reason I traded, traded him. I'm not really seeing that young big man I'm looking for, so maybe we have to go to player finder and search up like power forward slash centers. Yeah, all the all the bigs are low-key getting old. Melo's here, and he's good. We could get Yao Ming maybe. Bargnani might be an option. I saw him pop up earlier. Now he's not popping up anymore, though. Yeah, we could look at Yao Ming. I would love to have him on the team as another center option. We could do, uh, who, who did I just get? Our test. Yeah, we could do our test for Yao Ming. Oh, he's untouchable. Dang it, man. All right. Well, we could try. I don't really even want, respectfully, I don't really want Elton Brand. We could go after Chris Bosh, I guess. I'll throw Ron Artest. They say no. I'll throw y'all first rounder. It's not too valuable. That's fine. I'll throw y'all two first rounders. I'll throw y'all three. Ah, oh, dude, I'm overpaying crazy now. I'll, I'll throw in, uh, I, I don't want to give y'all Jamal Young, actually. I'll throw in somebody else. I'll throw in a uh, good old Fred, and I'll throw in one more first, and hopefully this works. Oh my gosh, man. I'm getting fleeced even if I did that and they still won't take it. What's going on? Oh no, I don't want to keep simulating. All right. But our test is about to become a free agent. So I do want to move him before the off season by pretty much any means possible. We do our test and then we do Jamal Young in a first. Is that going to get us the big man we're looking for? Pal Gasol. Do we bring Pal to Los Angeles to play with Kobe? Maybe he's our guy here. Elton Brand pops up again. I you know what? I guess we're going to bite the bullet and do the Elton Brand thing. But I think I can just do that if I throw our test in here. Yeah, Elton Brand pops up. We'll go get him for now. Oh, he's a, he's an expiring? Oh, shoot. I just screwed up. Oh, I don't, I don't want him actually now. Oh, no. That, that was stupid. Dang it, man. All right, well, we can trade Brand for uh, Pau Gasol and also this Eldon Higgins, dude who, Eldon Higgins dude who looks pretty nice. So, yeah, that, that works out. All right, so we bring in Pau Gasol. We slide Pau. Oh, oh, he's already a five. That works. Yeah. All right, that, that's what we're working with for now. Hopefully, our team can continue to be really good. Next year, I want to make a legitimate crack at 82-0. I want to get back to that 80-win type of season that we were having before. All right, here we go, man. Finished off the season 79-3, and 38-game win streak to end off the year. That That's really good, man. We're putting up consistently incredible seasons, but we, we just got to put it all together in these next couple years, and that's what I'm really hoping for. Draft lottery, we don't have any good picks because I did trade away a couple of them, but they didn't end up landing anywhere high anyways. And then checking out prospect scouting, yeah, we're good on this draft, so we'll keep it pushing. Team player options, we got Durant and we got Joakim. We'll accept both of those, of course. Did, did we actually have picks? No, we didn't. We had none. That's crazy. Well, Marcus Aldridge, we got the qualifying offer on, so we'll be sure to send that his way, and we'll give him a big contract because we can. You know, hard cap is off in this rebuild like I've been talking about, like I've been excited about. We'll throw Mike James a contract as well, and then we'll throw a couple guys minimums. But I think the roster is getting to the point where it's pretty full, so I don't think I can throw many contracts. That's probably all I'm going to do in terms of new players on the team, and this is what the team is looking like a player progression. At this point, Kobe is 30. 31 years old, which is crazy. We're getting pretty deep into this rebuild. So is there anything I can do to improve? You look at a guy like Dwight Howard. If we trade him in two first, can I get a better center? I'm looking for more front court presence. That's a big priority for me. Can't really find that right now, though. Maybe if we don't go 82-0 this year, I look to do something at the deadline. I'm also wondering, who's coming into the league in 2011? Oh, it's the uh, Kyrie Kawhi draft. Maybe we go after one of those guys. Maybe that guy is the piece we need. Because I'm just not ready to give up just yet. I, I don't want to quit. I want to keep it pushing. I know we've been simulating for over 10 years. We're over 46 minutes into the video but i really just want to call this video i finally went 82 and 0 in 2k that, that's what i want to call the video and i don't want it to be clickbait you know what i mean because obviously i'm not just going to put in the title i went 82 and 0 when i did it and we lost again <sighs> ah man this this is so annoying this is getting really annoying man how are we only 32 and 6, man? Did trading KG make that huge of a difference? I guess it does because we need that front court presence like I was talking about. Maybe I traded him too early, 
but let's see if any teams are selling or rebuilding that we could take some of the pieces from. We're looking for players 90 plus overall at this point in time. That's really the only type of guy that could benefit us. Maybe the Celtics with uh, Bargnani. He's a guy we could look at. I'm looking for front court players specifically though. We got uh, selling Warriors. Not really anybody I want. Vince Carter on the Blazers, but he's old. Yao Ming's still untouchable. Yao would be so huge for us. Amari Stoudemire is also untouchable. All the elite bigs of the league. Man, teams are holding on to them tight nobody wants to let them go i shouldn't have traded kg dog i shouldn't have traded kg he's still a 96 overall that's probably the biggest mistake i made in this rebuild i'm also worried about kobe at 32 but maybe i shouldn't be he, he's great yeah, and i think he'll continue to be great throughout this video what if we do pow and two first in the trade finders there anybody really good that'll pop up yeah not not anybody that really moves the needle for me so i guess we're just going to keep it pushing hopefully something changes and we'll be able to do this 82 and 0 thing man lebron james takes home an mvp award and this year 74 wins not bad but i think the kg thing i'm really i'm really 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 regretting trading kevin garnett that that's the one thing that i've regretted in this rebuild because we made that big move to go out and get him and ever since we lost him nothing was the same shout out drake all right i always say that man that's that's my new signature tagline but anyway we are here at the nba draft we got 26 and 27 D do we really need to draft players though at this point in time like Kyrie would be cool don't get me wrong but he's just going to be buried on the bench on this team does he move the needle for us i don't know at this point in time we also got a lot of free agents we got to worry about so that's another thing to consider but yeah i just don't know how much like a player like Kyrie or Kawhi helps us at this point in time but you know what i might just go get him anyway let, 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 let's just see how hard it would be hypothetically to go out and get like a Kyrie Irving or a Kawhi Leonard i'm, I'm gonna just trade up for pick two and draft whoever drops me I, i'm gonna just do it that way because two will probably be easier to trade for than one you know that, that just makes sense we'll talk to the Sacramento Kings they have a counter offer they went to White Howard they'll give me Mike Bibby that's actually not a bad counter offer I'm not gonna lie to y'all but I'm not really that interested in Mike Bibby I will give y'all Dion Glover though he's, he's a great player I know all about him all right let's let's do that they say no I'll throw y'all another first in this year's draft and I'll throw y'all this 27th pick ah dang it man dang it man ah all right well, I guess we're going to try number three. I'll do the same trade package, maybe remove a couple of the first just to see if I can do it without them. Let's see. Who has that third overall pick? Did it say Sacramento had it? No, they got the third pick in the second round. Uh, who's got three, man? Who, who's, who's working with that third overall pick? Oh, there it is. They got it over in Chicago. I'll throw y'all the same trade package uh, except minus like a pick and Deion Glover. You know what? We'll be generous and throw y'all Deion as well. And I'll throw the 26 pick. Boom. We get the third pick. Hopefully, either Kyrie or Kawhi falls to me. Please. Okay, great. Yep, they picked Jimmy. I'll take Kawhi. Boom. Or not Kawhi. Kyrie. Ky Kawhi went number one. But yeah, welcome to the squad. Kyrie Irving. Awesome. Happy to add him to the squad. Now we got a big free agency coming up. You know what? I think I'm going to call this next year our last dance, man, because we're getting so deep into this and uh, Kobe's starting to get old, Bron's starting to get old. But at the same time, I don't want to give up, but also I've been recording for like over an hour, man. It's been a long time. But yeah, we got to offer all these guys new contracts to stay on our team. I can't even, uh, I don't even have enough offers to offer everybody. Oh no, Melo's about to leave. Hold on, wait, if I go to Player Finder, can I offer Melo a deal at least? Can I offer Melo a deal this way? Okay, I can, I can, I can. All right, we'll throw him a deal. Yep. And we should be good to go. Is that our only other unrestricted player? Oh, Kevin Garnett. Oh, wait, no. He's not on our team anymore. Man, I miss you, KG. All right. We're going to get everybody back, it looks like. We're not renouncing the rights on anybody. I'm just making sure. What? No. No. I offered in the max. What? Wait. Wait. He's still here. He's still here. He's still here. I, I see him right here. Uh, I, think, I think we're going to get him back think we're gonna be okay we're gonna be okay right kobe 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 don't play with me he's gone he left no way dude no way bro i'm actually speechless and y'all know i'm somebody who always has words to say but uh dog
We lost Kobe, man. Oh, my gosh. I'm just going to start the sim. If we win a lot of games, we win a lot of games. If we don't go 82-0, and 0, I, I wouldn't be surprised because we, we just lost, like, the fundamental piece uh, of going 82-0, and 0, and that's Kobe Bryant, bro. He's been the best player on the team for years. There's no way we do it now, right? 9-0, and 0, 10-0. There's no way, right? 12-0. and 0. <laughs> No no way, right? Y'all, y'all are playing with me. We're about to lose in just a second. How are we second in the conference for just a minute there? Wow. The Spurs were 15-1. and 1. Who they got Who they got over in San Antonio? Hold on. They got Tim Duncan, Tony Park. Wow. That, that's insane. All right. All right I'm going to simulate, and if we get like 50 games in and we're 82-0, and 0, or, or, and we haven't lost, then I'll come back. We lost. 82-0 and 0 is impossible. Goodbye. Like, subscribe. Have a great day. See you on the next one. Peace.